Hello, this is Mrs. Yentes with Spencer and Chaucer. I miss you very much. I just have them to bug me every day. Um, I'm going to miss you also very much. And I miss you right now. And this isn't the way it was supposed to end for us. But I'm in your hearts. Hello, this is Mr. Moore wishing the class of 2020 the best of luck. You are forever going to be known as the Senior Skip Day Champions. The best senior prank ever. I mean, there's got to be an easier way to get out of my classes. But I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Remember, you are Blue Jay Strong. Hi seniors, I know this has been a crazy year, probably not the way you wanted things to go, but you guys will come out stronger in the end. You have a lot to look forward to, so good luck and don't forget your Blue Jay family. Hi class of 2020. Congratulations on graduating, and good luck on all your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. This shows that you can do anything that you put your mind to, and I wish you the best of luck. Hello, seniors. This is Mr. Asin. I just want to wish you the best of luck in the future endeavors, and uh, goodbye, good luck, God bless. Thanks. Hi, JM seniors. It's Mrs. Willock. I am so proud of all of you. Congratulations, and good luck in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. I hope you enjoyed your time at Jackson Milton. We will definitely miss you, and I wish you the best of luck in your future. Congratulations, seniors, on your graduation. We're all very proud of you at Jackson Milton. I know that you will continue to make us proud as you venture into the world and do amazing things. I have a special place in my heart for you as I remember some of you sitting in my second grade classroom, counting money and making change and telling time. Hopefully you've remembered those skills and could take them with you into the future. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Hey seniors. First, I want you to know I'm so thankful to have had the privilege of getting to know you and teach you over these last couple years. And if you remember nothing else from what I've taught you, please remember there are not very many situations that can't be improved at least a little by taking a slow deep breath. Know that wherever you go, whatever you choose to do after graduation, I'll be here rooting for you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I want to congratulate you on your huge accomplishment. I want to wish the best of luck to you and all your future plans. Hi, class of 2020. I just wanted to say congratulations. It's been a tough year. You're a strong group. Good luck and God bless in everything you plan on doing in your future. Congratulations again. Hi everybody, Mr. Satch here. I want to congratulate the class of 2020 on your graduation from Jackson Milton High School. Good luck in all your future endeavors, and I hope to see you soon. Hey class of 2020, Mrs. Eisbrunn here. I remember having you guys back as my first ever class when I was still Miss Blake. Uh, congrats on your graduation. Sorry it's under such crazy circumstances. It's certainly something you won't ever forget. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. To the class of 2020, congratulations, you finally made it. I hope that you realize that what you will gain from this time is strength and resiliency, which will do nothing but benefit you in your future endeavors. We wish you nothing but the best. Hello seniors, Mr. Widenthal here. I want to personally wish each and every one of you good luck in your future. Remember to always work hard and take pride in what you do. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Go Jays. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been quite an ending for you, but now it's your time. Go be your best you. Choose responsibly, be safe, and stay healthy. Good luck. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished, and I'm really looking forward to everything you accomplish in the future. Hi class of 2020, I'm sorry your senior year had to end this way, but I know you guys are probably making the most of it. Congrats on everything and good luck in your future. Hey there 2020 graduates, I just want to say congratulations and just to remind you as you move on from JM to create your own path and don't let anybody stand in your way. You will be missed. Congratulations again. I want to wish the class of 2020 the best of luck. Always remember to dream big. Don't live someone else's dream. Go out there and create your own. Congrats. Class of 2020, I just wanted to take a quick second and wish you all the best of luck. I decided to do this outside so you could see how big the sky is. 
and how bright the sun is out. This reminds me of what your futures are gonna be. Hi seniors, I wanted to leave you with um, my daughter who's in kindergarten, her favorite book, but it pertains to you. Here's the last page. Go ahead, be yourself, be the best version of you. Each day is a new chance to be more you. Congratulations, 2020 seniors. Go Jays.
I would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 Jackson Milton High School graduation ceremony. My name is David Vega and I am the principal of Jackson Milton High School and Middle School. Please allow me to thank all of our students and staff for all that they do. I realize that this year did not end the way anyone wanted it to, but through all of your hard work and dedication, Jackson Milton made it through stronger than ever. I would like to begin by introducing our Board of Education, President of the Jackson Milton Board of Education, Mrs. Kim Pittman, Vice President, Mr. Nick Campbell, Board Member, Mr. Tom Huff, Board Member, Mr. Mitch Mascholi, and Board Member, Mr. Rob Vernon. Thank you for your service to the students of Jackson Milton. Also, I would like to recognize our Superintendent, Kirk Baker, and Treasurer, John Zinger. Thank you for everything you do for this district. At this time, could you please rise for the playing of the National Anthem. It is with great pleasure that I get to introduce the 2020 valedictorians and salutatorian. Julia Bogdan, Michael Liberato Jr., Catherine Mitchell, Dominic Scandi, and our salutatorian, Bailey Estes. It is with great honor that I am able to address my classmates and everyone who has supported us on this great accomplishment in our young lives. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to start by thanking our parents, guardians, teachers, and board of trustees. We could not be in this position today without your guidance, support, and love throughout this entire journey, so thank you for your countless sacrifices. I would personally like to thank my mom and my brother for supporting me throughout the, this journey as well as the entire Lingle family. To my classmates, as I look back, it is hard to believe this day has come when we say our goodbyes. I have enjoyed my time with all of you and treasured the many memories in which we have made. I am extremely excited to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. I believe that with hard work and dedication, we can all achieve our individual dreams and remember no dream is ever out of reach. During this time, some may struggle with all of the change in our lives, but just know, the only constant in our lives is change. Recently, our senior year was interrupted by a national and global pandemic. I would like to take a moment to personally thank all of the courageous first responders and frontline workers as you are all true heroes. This pandemic has only strengthened my aspirations of becoming a nurse, and I am excited to embark on that new journey this fall. I guess this could be looked at as our first life lesson of the real world. In the real world, nothing is ever guaranteed. And as changes come, whether those are expected or not, you have to adapt to the situation at hand and adjust. Throughout the past couple of months, we've had several things taken away from us, such as spring sports, prom, our last few memories of walking the halls together, and more. To some people, these things seem like big losses. And to some of my fellow classmates, they are just happy they did not have to go to school. Who are we kidding? Some of us enjoyed sleeping in. Years from now, you would think we would be remembered as the graduating class of 2020 whose senior year was cut short. 
I would like to think we will be remembered as one of the most successful classes that has ever graduated from Jackson Mountain High School. I would like to share a quote with you by Thomas Edison. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. If you have a dream, chase that dream, and do not allow failures or setbacks to get you off track of achieving that dream. Always stand up for what you believe in. Be true to the person you are, and good things will always follow. Once again, thank you for your time, and it has truly been an honor to represent Jackson Mountain in the graduating class of 2020. Thank you, and good luck. As Zig Ziglar once said, sometimes adversity is what you need to face in order to become successful. I believe that this quote reflects our class in many ways. We have had one of the most interesting endings to a senior year ever. We lost our final months of school and all the memories and events that go along with graduating with your friends. In addition, we have been distanced and restricted from spending time with one another. These last months were supposed to be the best of our lives and bring forth our final moments of remembrance of one another. But like the quote states, this adversity that we face will make us one of the best classes to come out of Jackson Milton. If you look through history, some of the greatest influencers have come from the worst beginnings. One example is Albert Einstein, who dropped out of high school at 15 and failed an entrance exam to a Swiss institute. But that adversity never stopped him from becoming one of the best scientific minds in human history. He discovered many principles which our science is now built on. Furthermore, another person that comes to mind are, is Michael Jordan. He is considered one of the best, if not the best, basketball players, depending on who you're talking to. But even he experienced adversity on his way to becoming one of the best basketball players of all time. For example, he did not make his high school varsity basketball team and actually considered quitting basketball afterwards. But then he practiced for a whole summer, literally taking breaks for pretty much nothing to reach his goal. Afterwards, he not only succeeded in making his high school varsity basketball team, but actually he won six championships and many MVPs. These two stories hold many lessons that we can learn from and because we can choose how this misfortune affects our future. We can choose to grow from this and use this to become successful in every area of our lives. Furthermore, I have so many memories with this class from various things like football, track, and summers. Memories like problems with shower caps at Hiram to games like Waterloo and Newton Falls. To stupid things in the classroom like games, big fights, and sometimes even challenges. Memories like water slides down hills, to taped up basketball hoops in my basement and almost making regionals a track, and finally countless games of basketball in my driveway. These memories I will love and cherish for the rest of my life. Finally, I would like to thank all the people that have contributed to making our school careers so much fun. I would like to thank all the teachers that put up with me for so long and for teaching me not only school material, but life lessons. I would also like to thank Mr. Vega, Mr. Baker, Baker and Ms. Weary for not only making my senior year memorable, but for also helping me guide myself to the right path for the next part of my life. In addition, I would like to thank all my classmates for the memories and for being there for me all these years. I know we missed out on our last sport of our senior year, but even still, we have made plenty of memories throughout other sports. Finally, I would like to thank my family for pushing me to be the best athlete and student I can possibly be. I know we've had many disagreements over the years because of grades and procrastination, but we still made it in the end. Lastly, my dad always told me that the only thing consistent in life is change. And I cannot wait to see how all of our lives change over the next few years. I hope many of you stay in my life as we go through the next phase of our lives. And I do not know what I would do without many of you. Thank you. Ankita Argol once said, one day, all of us will get separated from each other. We will miss our conversations of everything and nothing and all the dreams we had. Days, months, and years will pass until this contact becomes rare. One day, our children will see our pictures and ask, who are these people? And we will smile with invisible tears in our eyes and say, it was then that I had the craziest days of my life with. To the class of 2020, I know this is not how we thought our senior year would go. The last three months have been stripped away from our reach and all those hopes for our special times as seniors slipping into a pandemic that we'll never forget. With such a small class, so many of us know each other from many years ago and they're all we can remember. Yet some are new and others have left. I can honestly say every single one of you has had an impact on me and if I had to, I could sit up here and name them. We have not always been the most patient or stressed class, but at one point we all shared a moment with each other. 
The class of 2020 is a special one, and we always claim to be the, we were the elite with many athletes and equally as much intelligence, and I'm proud to be a part of it. I know it's boring to hear all these thank yous, but some people deserve so much recognition that not even words can describe. First, Yantes, the mother of the senior class. Always taking care of us and helping us, and was like a school mom to me, and I'm grateful for that. And next, Mr. Stephen Moore, what a guy. I've never met someone so smart and that I can learn so much from. Yes, I know we made a lot of jokes in your class and blame all of our problems on chemistry and physics, but you personally gave me a love for science and I cannot wait to see where that love takes me in college. Thank you to Mr. Vega for never questioning why I was in the hallways, Mr. Baker, even though you didn't always give us the snow days we wanted, Mrs. Weary for dealing with all my requests and using her office for everything, the staff and all my teachers who have influenced me these past 12 years. And last, Thank you to my family and all my friends throughout the years. I cannot wait to see where the future takes us all. Congratulations to everyone. In the words of Ernie Harwell, it's hard to say goodbye, but I think goodbyes are sad and I'd much rather say hello. Hello to a new adventure. Many of you I've known my whole life. I've grown up with you and seen how amazing each and every one of you are. This is not a goodbye speech though. This is a welcome to the new life we will all endure. We are all special in our own ways. Some of us are amazing at math, science, art, sports, and the list goes on and on. I truly believe this class of 2020 is one of the most talented classes to ever pass through Jackson Mountain. We have gone through absolute chaos these past few months and I guarantee none of us saw this coming. But we are strong and united. We made it through this crazy world and now I know we're ready for everything else to come our way. I'm excited to see all of you thrive in whatever your next step is, and I hope we all keep in touch. No matter the bickering, little fights, or dumb arguments we had, I still love all of you guys. And most of you who know me know I don't like showing much emotion, but here I am practically crying because I miss you all so much. This is all surreal, saying goodbye to the people I grew up with since kindergarten, and it's sad to say the least. I would like to give a few thank yous to the people who made my life so much better, but I will try to make it as short as possible. First, I want to thank Linda Craig. I've never met such a strong and independent woman in my life, and you've taught me to not only be tough in sports, but in life. Thank you for the all advice you've given me, and thank you especially for knocking some sense into me when I was acting dumb. I wouldn't be the person I am without you, and I'll never forget you. Next, I want to thank Janet Antes and Stephen Moore. You guys got me through my junior and senior year, and no matter how hard your classes were, I'm ready to take on college with confidence. You both also taught me some important life lessons such as complaining does not get me anywhere and I have to actually work to achieve my goal. I also want to thank the class of 2020. No matter what we went through together, we are still able to unite and be supportive. Leaving you guys is one of the hardest things I've, had, I've ever had to do, especially in the circumstances we are in. I want you all to stay positive though, as this still isn't a good, goodbye speech. Lastly, I want to give some special shout outs to Steve Satch. Thanks for letting me sit in your office and complain about my life. Mr. Vega, Mrs. Weary, and Mr. Baker for being so awesome and making my high school experience memorable. And lastly, every single teacher I've had since kindergarten. I wouldn't be reading this speech if it wasn't for you. Overall, I'm excited about the new chapter in our lives and I hope you all succeed. We deserve it. The class of 2020 might have not seen this one coming, but now we're more than ready than ever. Thank you, everyone. At this time, it is my honor to recognize our 2020 Educators of the Year. Mrs. Catherine McMurray, and Mr. Steve Satry. The Board of Education would like to recognize you for your commitment to excellence and dedication to the Jackson Milton Local School District. Jackson Milton Board of Education and Superintendent Kirk Baker, it is with great honor that I present to you for certification the Jackson Milton Graduating Class of 2020. Good evening, Mrs. Pittman president of the Jackson Milton Local Schools Board of Education. As superintendent of Jackson Milton Local Schools and by the powers vested in me by the state of Ohio, it is my honor to certify to you and other members of the Jackson Milton Board of Education that the Jackson Milton class of 2020 has individually and collectively completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the state of Ohio and the Jackson Milton Board of Education and are there, therefore, entitled to receive their diplomas. Congratulations graduates in what has been an extremely uh, unique 
year. We're all very proud of you and hope that each of you does something unique and wonderful with your life. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Emily, Elizabeth, and Zavino. Yay! <laughs> Emily was a recipient of the Mahoney County District Art Award for the MCCTC. She'll be taking a gap year and plans to attend Youngstown State in the fall of 2021. Christian Isaac Karens. Christian earned a second place award for intermediate word processing in the BPA competition. Christian will also attend and accept from Kent State Trumbull $8,000.
graduation. Kaylee June Elaine Carson. Kaylee will attend and accept from the University of Mount Union $104,980. She has also received the following local scholarships. The Lake Milton Ladies Auxiliary Post, $737, $300. The Jackson Milton Board, $500. Lake Milton Women's League, $500. Jackson Milton Band Booster, $700. Rebecca J. Keeler, $1,000, and the Western Mahoning Kiwanis, $1,000. Benedict Glenn Christopher. Benedict has begun his career at direct sales and leasing. Anthony Michael Eppendorfer. Anthony will attend Youngstown State University. Oh, 
the circle game will be him playing. <laughs>
John Charles Together. John is certified in AWS SMAW welding and in NIMS measurement materials and safety. John also earned the rank of Eagle Scout. John has begun his career at Mack Trailer. Rachel Taryn Landon. Rachel will attend the Ohio State University. She has also received the Lake Milton Ladies Auxiliary Post 737 scholarship for $300.
Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Hi, Dorothy. Michael Angelo Liberato, Jr. Michael was accepted to the following colleges and offered the following scholarships and awards. Toledo, Toledo University, $20,000. Miami University, $20,000. Michael will attend and accept from Youngstown State University, $32,000. He has also received the Buddy Zeller Zest for Life Memorial Scholarship, which is $1,500. Nathan Douglas Miller. 
Nathan is certified in multiple ASC areas and is certified as an AWS welder and IBES forklift operator. He will also attend Fortis College. accepted to the following colleges and offered the following scholarships and awards. University of North Carolina, 65,200. Catherine will attend and accept from the College of Worcester, $209,600. She also received the Shelley Company Scholarship for $500. Right here. One more. Hunter James Clever Nitsky. Justin Andrew Popson Jr. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Now move it. One more. Big smile. Congratulations. Thank you. Love to you, sir. Brian Allen Gray. Carolina University, 32,000. Joseph will attend the Ohio State University.
Ryan will attend and accept from Youngstown State University, $32,000. Abigail Nicole Spalding. Abigail was accepted to the following colleges and offered the following scholarships and awards. Youngstown State, 4,000. Penn State, 26,000. Abigail will attend and accept from Concord University, $42,000. Sierra Rose Marie Smallwood. Sierra will begin her career as a welding apprentice. Congratulations. <laughs> 